You're listening to the smartest guys in marketing, the best show on the planet for client businesses to learn about traffic, funnels, sales, conversions, and marketing coolness. Chris and Taylor are the founders of Traffic and Funnels, a digital marketing consultancy helping you get paid clients from cold traffic daily. Now, here are your hosts, Chris and Taylor. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Smartest Guys in Marketing Podcast here with your host, Chris Evans and Taylor Welch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never been more excited in my life right now. This is the most I've ever been excited. I've never had a happier moment. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're blowing out my <laughs> AirPods. <laughs> what are we talking about today, man? Dude, we're talking about the power of knowing what you want. I think we might change this headline before we upload the, the podcast because, because no, 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 because I feel like we can make it really spicy and people would want to listen to it. But the power of knowing what you want is like, eh, eh. I just want to like know that you wrote that headline. We need to title it like, how to become a millionaire by 18 without having to work. <laughs> okay. I can't write it right. Well, I need some time. I can't do it under pressure. We're not going to get sued for that, are we? No, we're not. I think, Speaking of, dude, we had a really weird message last night. That yeah. one that Peyton sent us, that was bizarre. Tell people about that. Y'all, so Peyton is our, he's our enrollment director. It's uh, Taylor's brother. Great guy. He sent us this message to this guy who was just like, you have to read it, dude. It was just, it was bizarre, man. Like he's talking about. You want me to read it to people? Yeah. He's, he messes one of our consultants which by the way the consultant he didn't make an offer because he was just like crazy think about it yeah he said okay mr roy okay the videos look bs especially with just a handful of views and the owners don't seem to be doing that well many facebook likes but no post engagement looks like a scam i'm waiting for your busy boss with the beautiful house to call me tomorrow and convince me otherwise Okay, well, he said that the owners don't seem to be doing that well. And then he said, boss has a beautiful house. I think he's confused. End of tomorrow, if I don't feel assured, I'm forwarding the call recording and all my research to the local law enforcement and FBI. <laughs> Mr. Roy, Mr. Roy, we already forwarded the call to the FBI because we think you're a terrorist. So, good luck. I was thinking about this this morning. It's like, and we sent, we sent a uh, kind response. Yeah, but well, we didn't. I, was, I didn't personally. Yeah, Peyton did. I was thinking about this this morning. Like, people don't realize the amount of exposure you get when you start going after what you want. And it, it's going to be, you're going to have great exposure. People are going to love you. And you're going to have exposure like this, where it's just like, what in the world? Like, it's just out there. Are, there are some crazy, crazy people in the world today. Yeah. So I think you have to, going into to really going after what you want, you have to realize this and expect it. Wait, and you mean there's a cost to going after what you want? There's a tremendous, tremendous cost. Now you sound like a scam. Cost. <laughs> you actually don't have to work ever. You can do all this probably in the next 24 hours. Become a millionaire. <laughs> so the reason this story came up is because we were talking about We've done a lot in the past year that, that have been on our goals list for a long time. And uh, Chris, actually, the big pimpin himself, just bought his wife a brand new minivan. So he's now not only had, he's not had one minivan, ladies and gentlemen, he's had two, which you know you've made it when you have two minivans. Yeah. And so he was telling me the story about asking his his lovely wife, Missy, who runs our business from behind the scenes. And uh, he was saying, what do you want in, in your minivan? She's like, oh, all I care about is what heat is steering wheel, is what she said. Yeah. And so you found her the perfect minivan and it was the wrong color. And you, you're like, well, you didn't say you wanted this color. She's like, well, I do. And then you yeah, found a different one. I started negotiating on that one. And I was like, okay, I've got this one that's locked up, you know, and I sent her a picture of it. She's like, I don't want that. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? All you said you wanted was heated seats and a heated steering wheel. Yeah. So this happens all the time. And it happens to me and with my wife too because 
it'll be a long day. My wife is, uh, she's a busy entrepreneur and she'll come home exhausted and I'm exhausted. And it's like, where do you want? Let's go to dinner. And she's like, okay, let's go. I'm like, what do you want? She's like, I don't care. I'll literally eat anything. I'm starving. I need food now. And it's like, okay, well, let's go to, let's go to Tito's or let's go to Outback. And she's like, I don't, I don't want Outback. What, what do you want? Well, anything but Outback. Okay. Well, what about Chick-fil-A? I don't really want Chick-fil-A either. Anything but Outback and Chick-fil-A. And before you know it, we've got anything. I want anything and I'm starving, but I, I want anything but Outback, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Chili's. We got this long. It's just like, if we would have just started with knowing, knowing what you wanted, we would have been a lot easier. And people do this in their business. We do this in our business. We lose our way. People don't know this, but we get confused a lot about yep. what do we want. And we, we're constantly thinking about it and talking about it and changing the goalpost so that we're not killing ourselves and we're not working in circles and it's the power of vision and clarity. Yep. Yeah. And being decisive. Yeah. You know, it's, it's incredible the amount of people who are just wondering because they don't know what they want. They're very indecisive. And if you are indecisive in your entrepreneurial journey, you will never get to where you want to go. And we have to fight every single week to understand where we're going and just keep clarity on what you said, those goalposts. Every single week, dude. And it's even way more pronounced now that we have a team, you know, 15, 20 people. And it's the same thing. We have to keep the same thing going with them. So you have to- Never changes. Never changes. I forget the quote, but it's by uh, Richard Cush. No, 80-20 guy. And he says, most people fail because they end up running races that they never really wanted to win in the first place. And we talked about this um, in Utah just a little bit ago. It's like, if you find yourself just kind of like when you wake up, you're going to have a bad day every now and again. But if you just start waking up and you're like, why am I doing this? Why what? Burnout most oftentimes mm-hmm. is an issue of a lack of clarity. You've forgotten the destination. And so now you're burning out. Yeah. Because when we're in the grind, like, dude, this week is insane. We were texting last night. You worked 12 hours yesterday. I was getting messages from Chris at like 4.51 in the morning. It's like, good grief. And then today is probably going to be a 12-hour day. And then we've got, we had two trainings yesterday. We had a training this morning. We've got a training we're doing tomorrow. This is a grind week. I don't feel burned out though. Because mm-hmm. our destination is very, very clear. And uh, most of the time when people get overwhelmed, it's because they, they forgot where they're going. Like, where, where's the goal? Where are you headed? If you don't understand and have a picture, a vision of what you're trying to build, then everything becomes overwhelming and you're, you're confused about why you're doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think one thing that we could talk about is a practical tip that we leverage and it's just asking ourselves that question all the time. What do I want? At the end of the day, what do I want? It goes beyond income and revenue. Like what do you actually want in your life? Yeah. Not what my mom wants. Not what my dad wants. Not what my sister Nancy and my brother Jerry want. People are so freaking obsessed with what other people want. Yeah. This is a disease because really, at the end of the day, like we've talked about this, the best gift you can give to the people around you is for you to be fulfilled, for you to be strong, for you to be healthy. It starts with clarity, man. It starts with clarity. You got to get that minivan. You got to get the right color. You got to get that heated steering wheel. You got to heat the seats. DVD players. Nice sports red brake calibers on the, on the minivan. Hydraulics. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's like a journey that we're all on. And, and people are, if they, if they don't have this set in front of them, they don't have extreme clarity. They don't know exactly where they're going. They don't walk in uh, decisiveness every day. There's so much that is thrown at you and that will just throw you off. How many times... Do we connect with people, prospects, clients, who they're just tossed to and from in the wind? Like something new comes up, like, oh my God, oh yeah, I'm going to go do that. And we were just having this conversation on one of our client calls yesterday. Like this dude wanted to create all these other new things, podcasts and books and blogs and print newsletter. And he's making less than $10,000 a month. And he had, he's indecisive. He has a lack of clarity about where he's at in his business and where he's going. So whatever it is for you, 
you have to set that as a pillar in a post and keep that in front of you so that you can walk in decisiveness every day. Decisiveness is... Decisiveness. All right, that's it. I changed the headline. Know what you want or die trying. There you go. I got you. Holla at your boy. This is definitely a lot better than the last one. Check out the uh, free gift we have for you guys. Trafficandfunnels.com slash gift, G-I-F-T. A lot of people confuse this with G-Y-F-T. Gift is spelled with an I. <laughs> okay. And uh, leave us a review and go back. We are, we're building quite the archive of yes. material. And over the last year since we've started this podcast, our revenue has almost doubled. Did you realize that? No. It has. It's true, isn't it? It is true. It's been, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy ride. So we're just getting started. We're just getting good. And we want you to go experience the goodness. Anything else? Uh, hey, we appreciate you guys taking your time and hanging out with us. So much. We know there's like one billion other podcasts. So we appreciate but you. They're all scams. Don't listen to those. <laughs> all right. See you guys. What's up, everybody? Chris here. And just want to take a minute and say thank you so much for listening to the Smartest Guys in Marketing podcast. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. Please go leave a review on iTunes, whether it's positive or negative. We want to hear your feedback and know what you're thinking and how we can improve. And if you know anybody that needs to hear what we're saying, please share with them. And the last thing I have to tell you today is if you haven't gotten the monthly memos, jump over there and grab it at trafficandfunnels.com slash memos. Here's the deal. The monthly memos is an opportunity for us to download what's happening in our business with our clients. And that's from mindset to marketing, to strategy, to tactics, to traffic, to funnels, business operations. Across the board, we are able to just break down and give to you what's happening. So our journey is to make a big impact. We want to make a massive impact on people's lives. And for us to do that, we're doing things like the monthly memos. We want you to get ahead faster and make a lot less mistakes that, than what we have made. And I think it's a great medium for you to do that. So jump over there, grab that. The price is ridiculously low. And we, we did that for a reason, just so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to jump on there. Travelconfunnels.com slash memos. And uh, listen, again, really, really appreciate you guys.